and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to cover the string tokenizer. Um, the string tokenizer is a very useful object. It will um, it will be it will prove very useful in your game and app development in Fusion 2.5. So I'm just going to drop one in um, to the play area. That's the string tokenizer right there. Um, it doesn't have any properties. It doesn't really need any properties. We use it in the event editor. So I'm going to set up a quick play area. Uh, first of all, I'm going to drop in a list object. I'm also going to drop in an edit object, like so. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to need a button as well. Right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a series of names in here. And I'm going to delimit them by using hash key um, and then I'm gonna get fusion to run a loop when I click this and list all the names that I've done there basically the way the string tokenizer works is you can give it a string and it will split the string up so you don't have to have, if you've got multiple strings that you need to use uh, you can you can index them so basically I can have this string here and then second string here and then third string here so you can see there we've got three strings all in one string and we split them up by using the hash key as the delimiter we're saying that that's the break up to separate the strings and obviously zero base so that's string zero that's string one and that's string two even though to us it's one two three but we know how fusion works and it's mostly zero based um, so I'm going to show you how I can do that in real time right now. Okay, let's do it. So uh, we're going to do button clicked. Uh, we're going to clear the list. So we're going to reset and then we're going to do another event button clicked. We're going to start a fast loop. Um, no, we're not going to start a fast loop. No, no, no. We're going to assign the string to the tokenizer first. Jump in the gun. Never jump the gun. Okay, so we've reset the list, and then we're going to say split string, and we're going to get the text that we write in the box. That's the string we're going to split. It's going to ask us what the delimiters are, and we're going to use hash as the delimiter to split the strings up. So now we can do our fast loop. So we do start loop, split it's asking us the number of loops. Now we can um, get Fusion to identify how many loops it needs to do already by the text that it's got. So we can just say number of elements. That's the number of strings that it's splitting up. So it knows how many it's doing. Now what do we do for each loop? Well, um, every time the loop comes around, so loop split, we add a line to the list and um, the line will read the name of um, the um, string that it's up to in the loop so we're going to say get element um, it's going to ask us for which element it wants us to get and we're going to get the loop index of the fast loop that we are running really really as easy as that so if I do one two three four five you can see there I've got five separate strings all separated with the hash if I run this you can see now it's created each individual list. Um, so we can do anything with this. We can do a list of names and run it again. And it clears the list and it runs through the loop and it extracts each one of these individual names out. You can see how it does it individually. Very, very powerful object. Let's do what I did earlier. Uh, sentence one. I'm going to copy that because I don't want to be pasting, rewriting it all. Sentence two, sentence three, sentence four. Run. And there you go. You can see it's pulled them out individually. One, two, three, four. So you can see how from one string you can have multiple strings contained within one string all separated by hash. It doesn't have to be hash, the delimiter can be absolutely anything and you can specify that in Fusion, what the delimiter is. Um, very, very useful function to know in Fusion 2.5. It's good for things like dialogues, if you're creating dialogues where you're speaking 
uh, you know, where, where your player character pops up and a dialogue pops up and he reads out some text. It's very useful for storing uh, lots of paragraphs and text strings all in one string and you can uh, pull them out um, each element individually, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whenever you want. Very, uh, very, very useful function to know in Fusion 2.5.